Hey guys, uh, so today we're making a Leonard jar. Um, so basically what we have together right now is all our ingredients. Um, we have a beer bottle that is missing the bottom. Uh, we have a mason jar. We have our one times nitrogen free watering solution, pH to 6.5. To 6 uh, we have some regular tape, some autoclave tape, a couple pieces of tin foil that we'll need later. Um, a length of string, a cotton ball, three grams of calcium sulfate, and our artificial soil perlite vermiculite. All right, so the first thing we're gonna do is measure out our piece of string. All right, so the way we do that is we stick it through the beer bottle, and we want it to be just below the top, which you can see there, but we also want it to be able to touch the bottom of the mason jar, all right? So I've already measured this one out and cut it, but if we have longer string then we'll need to cut it down to that size. Um, okay, so the second thing we're gonna do is we're gonna take our cotton ball and we're gonna wrap it around the piece of string uh, by one end, okay? And then we're going to put it down into the neck of our beer bottle, into the opening. All right, just like that. And we want some of it to be coming out still so that it can touch the bottom of the mason jar. So that's just not quite enough, so I'm gonna pull out a little bit more. So that should be fine, right there. The next step we're gonna do is we're gonna take our calcium sulfate, and using this way by way boat, we're gonna dig out some of our artificial soil and put it into the top of our beer bottle. Just like that. And we wanna fill this up just up before the top, but not all the way. So just a little bit more should be enough. Right there, just a dash more. Okay, so that should be fine. All right, so our next step is to add our nitrogen free media. And since we put the cotton ball in there earlier, none of this artificial soil is gonna get into our watering solution. So we're gonna take our watering solution and we're gonna pour it up into the mason jar up into about the neck, just about three quarters full. Should be plenty. So right about there should be good. And we're gonna put our beer bottle back down into the watering solution. And this string will suck up uh, the watering solution up into the beer bottle. So that's why we have the string there. Okay, so the next step is we're gonna add tin foil around the outside. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna take a length of tin foil and we're gonna fold it over to about two thirds, just like this, all right? And then we're gonna wrap around with the double ended side at the top wrap it around our Leonard jar, just like this, leaving as little light as possible because we don't want our roots to see too much, too much light, and our roots will be down in the mason jar. Just close it over like this, okay? And now the next step is we're going to add some tape to keep this foil down. So I'm gonna take a long piece of tape here and I'm gonna wrap it around the bottom. So we keep our foil connected to the jar. Spend it all the way around. Just like that. All right, so now there's no, nothing getting in or out of the bottom. Now I'm gonna take a, a slightly shorter piece of string, or a piece of tape, and we're gonna tape up the top. I'm trying to make sure that there's no way that anything can get in or out through the foil. piece of foil and put it over the top so that when we autoclave we can keep it sterile, keep, keep everything else from getting in. Alright, we're going to take our autoclave tape which turns a different color. These, these tiny little white stripes are here turn black when um, 
the liner dryer has been sterilized. So put that down right there. And now it's ready for the autoclave. And that's a liner jar.